All right, how's everyone doing today? This is Eric with the winner of today's KMC at Gators Games in Kansas. Uh, as you can see, the deck is water light. All right, and the guy who ran the deck today, there he is, Colin Hendrickson. Um, so you're a native at uh, Columbia, Missouri, correct? Yep. And uh, Major League Games is your local uh, card shop. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's ask, why did you decide to play this deck today? Well, yesterday at the Major League Games KMC, I played veggies and it did not work out well for me. <laughs> I okay. went one in five. And I, it, this kind of a deck, this unblockable theme, mm -hmm. has always been kind of circling in my head. And I always liked the blue, the dual day promo. And I always wanted some use for him to kind of recycle cards, as well as just being an overwhelming force, just kind of getting in there again and again and again. Right. And I was originally planning on going blue-black with unblockable and slayers to kind of kill their stuff. But I was looking at the stuff and a lot of the those guys are very small and they'll just keep, die, get their one use, and just kind of finish it there. Whereas uh, this one, this version with Kalorth, it just keeps kind of going and going. So I can just keep pushing those evos again and again and again. All right. All this just break down the deck, starting, I had it broken up uh, by the mana curve. Uh, so let's start off at the number one slot. Alright, um, did he do any much work? He did a lot of work, uh, kind of warding off early game attacks, and then he is a great evo bait at a one drop, just drop him down, drop the next card down. Okay, uh, let's go on to number two. The two cost creatures, so you see a Cyber Scamp, Iron Will Tree, Luminous Shield Wing, and Aqua Strider. Uh, did you get much use out of Cyber Scamp for today? I, I triggered him once when there was already two Cyber Scamps in my mana. Uh, so he did not do anything today for me. Okay. I, I really like him for just trying to find out like what your shields are to see like how conservative do I have to play. If they try and swing for game, do I still have a chance? It's always good to get uh, deck knowledge about well, how you can play yeah. your turns. Uh, I've it was just unfortunate that I've never really got to use him for a value. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, with the Iron Will Trees and um, Luminous and then Aqua Strider. Aqua Strider is just really nice at being a huge blocker early game, so we. People just don't want to attack into that because yeah. take one for the block, and then if they continue to attack, you take one on the crack back. Uh, would you maybe up that an extra, adding another Aqua Strider? Yes, I would like to add another Aqua Strider because okay. my multi sieve counts only eight out of this deck, which uh, is those uh, seven, right? Is that or seven? seven. Yeah, yeah. you'll be going to eight. Eight would not be a significant amount to kind of hurt my chances of hitting them on turns that it would not uh, hurt me. Mm -hmm. uh, the Luminouses did a lot of work, just being early game, getting in there, and then just adding another shield. Because adding another shield helps so much oh, when yeah. they're trying to swing in. And then you can they give you it back, and you have it as either Evo Bait for Prism Blade, or it's just another attacker that they have to deal with again. Probably better than Stagger, like you've been playing all day. Uh, that's Russell Coker in the background. He, he won uh, yesterday's KMC yep. at, at Missouri. Uh, so, uh, Iron Will Tree, did you get most of you? Did you play against any like heavy discard or any controlling decks? Kind of. Um, in my second round, I played against a Corrupted List, and they were playing heavy... Uh, what is that guy called? The five drop, uh, 3K, or five two, for three? 2K, or 2K, five for two. Uh, Corrupted, gives all your Corrupteds, whenever they swing, you, your opponent has to discard a card. Okay. Oh, I and it just, him. Yeah. <laughs> when they kept swinging in, just discard my hand, essentially. So were you able to play Iron Will Tree against him and stop yeah. the effect? Yeah. Nice. Because I played him, uh, my second game against him, and 
it stopped him from uh, getting my Eos out of my hand. Alright, uh, and you have a Thurio Agent, Wave for Seer, and Setus, Setus the Augur? Setus the Augur. Okay. Uh, how was Setus the Augur for today? He was really nice. He essentially uh, won me my game in, uh, in top eight against Newman because mm -hmm. played him out turn three, turn one, uh, Aqua Initiate, turn two, I think it was Aqua Strider, and then turn three, Setus. Looked at my top two, got Cryo Nucleus, put him down in shields, mm -hmm. and that saved me when he was swinging right there at the end. Okay. Uh, what about uh, Wave Force Seer? How did he work out? He's really nice because if your opponent's not playing a really like tap down type of deck, you can just keep targeting your double breakers and making them unblockable. Whereas wow. the other uh, cards like Ethereal Agent and Psychic Predator have to swing in themselves, which since they're at low power puts them in danger. Mm -hmm. So he is really nice to just give my other things uh, unblockable. Uh, and Ethereal Agent? How Ethereal do you work Agent out? is so good. The Come game? into play. Yeah. Look at one of their shields. That is either uh, danger, I stay away from it, or I can save that for last and know that I'm going to s swing for game and be safe. Okay. And then swing it, whenever he swings, draw a card. Yeah. So it works with so much Wave Force here as well to get to use his effect yep. to make so another you creature unblockable. Ethereal Agent, draw trigger make either wave force seer unblockable shield thing unblockable do you usually care if he dies because you usually get one draw card out of it and then he'll him yeah um like i don't want him to die because but he is expendable yeah because you get Whereas one wave, draw wave force seer i continuously can use him yeah to just especially when i have like cal earth on the field just make cal earth unblockable just swing in because uh, with the Thera Agent, I think the main use is getting that knowledge of your opponent's shields. Yeah. And then if you get any draws, it's plus it's and the combo with Wave Seer. Yes. Yeah. And for the four drops, you have uh, three PPR, Psychic Predator Rizalka, two Prison Blade, the Ascendant, and three PJs. How was uh, Prison Blade for today? Um, I really liked him. Uh, he's a really nice, just early get in there double breaker. So he puts on a lot of early pressure, and then they have to deal with him. Otherwise, he's going to un untap one of your creatures, like Luminous Shield Break. Untap him. Block. Get a shield, which sets them back two attacks. Mm -hmm. um, and just early game offensive, because this is a somewhat rushy deck. You know, it kind of curves out to five with the shield blast being a little bit higher cost, but yeah, you usually the goal wanna, is always getting them out of shields. Yeah, you want to try and like get, like five is a nice number to stay at. Six is a really nice number so that you can play your bait and then play your Evo. And it just makes it really easy to play that. Uh, but five is the number I usually stay at if I have something I really want to keep in hand. So five is usually curve out point where you're able to be able to just play almost anything from mm -hmm. um, the top of the of the deck. Yep. And uh, psychic predator Rosoka, how was that for today? <laughs> he is so good. Come into play, locked down. When he swings, locked down again. He put in a lot of work, just keeping the line, just just keeping that guy stopped. You can't attack. Can't <laughs> block. Yeah. And uh, we know PJ. PJ is uh, always a great four cost show blast spell that deals with two creatures. Did you play against any unchargeable creatures for today? Yes, I did. Um, I played against a handful of uh, uh, the four drop three and a half K light unblockable keeper keeper oh. of laws. No, it's not unblockable. They're not unblockable, untargetable. Un yeah, okay. Uh, and so that doesn't help against that, but it helps keep their field minimized. Because mm -hmm. I can either uh, tap, bounce, kill the tapped guy. That re removes two creatures from the field, essentially. So it puts them down a lot of attacks for next turn. 
so they can't really rush in there against you. Did you ever get a chance just to uh, maybe bounce back your own ethereal agent or uh, maybe even a Cetus just to replay it and get the advantage again? I did not. That uh, The main problem is that's just a lot of mana to use. <laughs> well, and that we puts have, you an attack down on If you have like the one and two drops, okay, and then yeah. Cetus. That's like six mana and you usually curve out as five to six, right? Yeah. So like, just to live the dream, you bounce back. But then that back. also means I can't attack with him that turn. When he comes out, you can. Yeah, Evo, but, the fast yeah attack. but the turn you play Pierce and Judgment, if you choose to bounce him, you don't get that attack that Yeah, turn. yeah. You're just trying to pull out too much value. Like, okay. Let's go to the next card. Uh, let's go five to the next. Drops. Five drop <laughs> Evos. Uh, Kalorth is one of my favorites. And also, uh, just Swarming Rapids back. Lurker. He's so nice just because he keeps coming back. And you have to deal with him before dealing with something like Prism Blade. Yeah. Because, oh, Prism Blade comes back to my hand. I play him again next turn. Did you have any instance with Kalorth out on field that they targeted your other Evos to try and destroy them, forgetting about Kalorth's effect? Um, I did not. They, they usually remembered about Kalorth, but they just wanted to kind of deal with Prism Blade mm -hmm. so that I couldn't untap him and just have him as a blocker. So I guess make, kind of make you set back a turn so you have to replay it for next turn, something yeah. like that? But it's not too bad because I can usually almost always play him the next turn. Play anybody that had root traps? I did not play any more. Or, yeah, I don't think I did. Uh, we I saw, don't know if Newman had root traps, we but saw, I don't think he did. You see that you have a lot of five drop uh, Evo, so that's, I guess, one reason why you did not decide to play uh, BBP. Yes. Also because yeah. white is a little bit more of a splash in the deck yeah. as opposed to the blue, which is the main force. Okay, and Swarming Rappers Lurker, I saw in one game against Andrew Newman top eight that you're just waiting for a bait yep. so you can try and just push in because you yep. had him at uh, zero shields. Yep, had him at zero shields. I in. just needed the blue bait to swing in. And he's really nice just to double as a blocker as well as just if they don't have any blockers, oh, I double break anyways. Mm -hmm. I don't have to unleash. Yeah. Or if they have a huge threat on field, I can unleash him to get over that threat and yeah. deal with it. Yeah. And just move on from there. All right. And we have the last two sets of cards, Cryonucleus and the Arbiter. Uh, both Shield Blasts, both really good cards. Uh, what would you say out of the whole deck that uh, is the MVP of the day? Cryonucleus. Uh, he saved me multiple games today. Just him coming out of shields at last second, freezing their one guy that was left to attack, and just stopping them there. I saw a, a match or two where your opponent had one creature, maybe an untargetable creature after that. Yeah. So if you didn't get something to answer that one creature, that they were able to either swipe out your shields or just be able to go in. Yeah. And that was the main card I keep on seeing popping out as shields, saving yeah. you, and either freezing the last attack or just give you a bait so you can play the Evo and go in for next turn. Against Newman, I played Cetus turn three by getting out the turn two early uh, guys. Mm -hmm. Played him, got Cryonucleus, set him in shields on turn three, just started going in. At the end of the game, it turned out to be he had one untargetable, and that was what he was playing on swinging for game. I had two cryos face down, essentially. Mm -hmm. Popped one, froze the guy, left his untargetable to pop the other, and he didn't have enough to swing for game. Mm -hmm. Good. It even scared Gordon to scoop the last game. So, yeah. what, <laughs> like, what is something you might change to uh, add in a strider or take something out of the um, deck? Out there, out there playing for today's meta, what was I think you would change to kind of help you out next time? I was time? thinking about cutting down on like Kalorth and Swarming Rapids Lurker, bringing them down to two ofs, and adding probably Keeper of Laws. Because when you get Wave Force Seer, make Keeper of Laws unblockable. Uh, he can't be stopped if yeah. you're swinging for game. It also helps them if you do uh, have spells. It's always good to get the scamp and then keeper triggers, and then yeah, wave four is just the extra plus above that. Yeah. So would you would you try this deck out again in any other uh, dual days and or KMCs? 
most definitely. All right, is this, really is this a deck that you might try to tune a little bit more and maybe use that champs? Probably. Okay. I really enjoy this deck. And the deck is at 40 cards, correct? Um, I believe it's just over at 41 or 42. 41, 42. So I don't know, maybe would you try to, did you have any trouble not drawing the cards you needed at certain times? Um, against Newman, the matchup I had with Newman, I had a couple turns where we were just drawing, draw passing, or because I kept drawing the light Evo, uh, Evo bait mm -hmm. when I had Swarming Rapid Slurker in hand trying to swing for game. Okay. All right. Well, we do appreciate you sharing your deck. Hopefully you have fun today at the KMC, and we will see you in Rhode Island. Congratulations again. And this is Colin Hendrickson, Hendrickson um, coming to you at Kansas, getting first place today. And we will see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And bye, guys.